Now, as I'm sure you know, one of the primary objectives of this channel is to provide information that will aid in our path to achieving financial freedom. And it dawned on me as I was talking about financial freedom in another video, and one of you, my rock stars, sent me a clip from someone else who talked about what they feel or believe financial freedom is, and I realized that many people have no idea what it means to be financially free. And in order for us to achieve it, we first need to understand it. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same. As they were a year ago. Welcome back to my channel, my rock stars. It's great to have you back. And if you are visiting our channel for the first time, we take pleasure in inviting you to become a part of this amazing family over here that we're calling our rock stars and help you on your path to achieving your big goals. And this is not just about me sharing, but also me learning. So please don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments. I read everyone and I respond to everyone. So thanks again for all your support and let's jump right into the video. But before we do that, I'm promoting Brand Jamaica today. And I am Jamaican to the core and a lover of Jamaica all the time, not just sometimes. And I look at it this way. I have family members that may be dishonest, they may be liars, they may be bad mind, as a lot of people like to say, or they may be haters, as I often hear people say today. But I accept them for who they are and I try to love them as much as I can. Nobody is perfect and no country is perfect. Countries are gonna have economical issues, some will have political issues, and many have criminal related issues. But do we stop loving them or do we disassociate ourselves from them? I know some of you disassociate yourself from your relatives, but that's not who I am. And in the same way, I'm gonna still take my relative and work with them as much as I can. I'm gonna take Jamaica for what it is and do my best to make it better. I believe that this is the opportune time for us to represent Brand Jamaica because what's being communicated outside, it may be real or not, it's really negative. So we need to showcase that there's a lot of good things happening here. There's a lot of brilliant people, there's a lot of talented people, there's a lot of people who would live nowhere else but Jamaica like myself and who are committed to doing everything in their power to making this beautiful island an even more beautiful place to live. So I know I just went over left field, but I'm gonna rein it back in and talk about why we're here today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define and elaborate on financial security, financial independence, and financial freedom. The reason why I need to talk about financial security and financial independence is because I believe they are on the path to achieving financial freedom. So it's like milestones along the way and in order for you to capitalize on the end result, which is financial freedom, you need to master and achieve those milestones. Now let's start with financial security. Now, if you are employed and you have a nine to five job and you were to lose that job or if you were to quit that job today and you still had enough income coming in through other sources of income to cover all your food, your shelter and your clothing expenses, which really are your basic living expenses, you can consider yourself financially secure. Now, let me caution you that having an emergency fund does not mean that you are financially secure. Because if that emergency fund were to run out, whether it's a year after you quit or you get fired or five years later, it means that you would be in a situation where you cannot sustain yourself. 
and as such you will need to either get a full-time job to do so or create another stream of income now financial security is the first milestone on the highway to achieving financial freedom and even retiring early financial security is actually a confidence booster you know why financial security is critical because it gives you the confidence knowing that even if you were to lose your job today you would still be covered for all your essential expenses without external help because you have sources of income that can compensate you accordingly now the second pillar or milestone on your path to achieving financial freedom is financial independence Now this is how I define financial independence. This is a situation where you have enough passive income, which means that you are making money without getting out of bed to maintain your current lifestyle. Now this lifestyle that I'm describing, it goes way beyond your beer or your essential needs. If you think about having a coffee every day without thinking about money or or worrying about where the money is coming from having things like a gym membership playing tennis on the weekend and paying for a coach or someone to train you going on a vacation a few times per year this and other things like that are a clear indication that you're living a lifestyle that could be considered as being financially independent when you're financially independent it means that you can retire early and not worry about how you're gonna sustain your lifestyle for the rest of your life in order to be financially independent however you will need multiple streams of income because if you have one or two streams and one gets compromised you may end up in a situation where you either have to go back and start from scratch in identifying new streams of income or if you had retired you need to go back and get a nine to five job to sustain your livelihood when you're financially independent you continue to earn from your different income streams regardless of what you choose to do each day and when you choose to do it or how you choose to do it or where you choose to do it from now i often say that this is where i am at in my life a lot of people will say that i'm financially free based on the little that they know but when i describe what financial freedom looks like you'll understand exactly why I believe I'm more financially independent than financially free now a lot of people in the course of their life they stop at financial independence because you can actually live comfortably being financially independent not having to worry about money and your income streams are coming in and sustaining your lifestyle and even giving you a chance to splurge on your habits but why not take it to another level and aspire to be financially free now for me financial freedom means that my passive sources of income that's coming in from multiple streams is not just enough to cover my current lifestyle but the lifestyle of my dreams now let me give you a synopsis of the lifestyle of my dreams which is why I'm decked out in my Jamaican attire today I want to be able to go to every single sporting event with my family that Jamaica is having whether it's track and field it's the reggae girls the reggae boys I want to be there front and center celebrating I want to have front seats that I can literally reach across and touch them if they come to the area that we're seated in I want to get there first class or at least business class I want to stay in five star or five diamond resorts I want to do additional tours when I get there and I don't want to miss an event to support Jamaica. I also want to be able to initiate two huge charitable projects. One is related to mental health and the homeless and being able to create a recreation center where anybody who can't afford to live somewhere 
or to get care for mental health to aid in their recovery, they can access this center and everything is provided to include top class doctors, the right medication as opposed to the cheap ones that sometimes don't work and ensuring that we can rehabilitate and those who are homeless, we can create income generating opportunities for them and put them back into society as successful human beings. I also want to ensure that a few generations are taken care of. So that's it for me. What is it for you? Whatever your dream life looks like, financial freedom is the way you enable it. So in summary, I would say that financial freedom means that you have enough passive income. Again, you can be sleeping and making this money, but you have enough passive income to not just do the things that you're doing today to live a great life, but also to do the things that you have dreamt about doing to live a phenomenal life and you do so without ever having to worry about money. Now on your path to achieving financial freedom, I would suggest that you set up milestones. So you first start with financial security, then you move to financial independence, and then eventually you'll get to financial freedom. Now, during this journey, we're all gonna start at different places, but the ultimate goal is to achieve these milestones in a reasonable time along this path. Many people are living paycheck to paycheck today, and they're not realizing that they could actually achieve financial independence and retire early, and later move towards financial freedom and achieve the life of their dreams. But you know what, my rock stars? You are here because you're different. You want more out of this life for yourself. You are here because you know that there is something better out there for you and you have the power in you to initiate and create it. And to do so, the first step is to determine what is that number or that amount that you need to be earning from either passive income sources or your full-time job to be considered financially secure, financially independent, or financially free. To determine what that amount is for financial security, I want you to start with your current expenses. Take a look at your bills. Take a look at things like your food, your shelter, your clothing, and your basic necessities, and you can do so in a budget template where you can track it. What is the average amount that you're spending on these items per month? That's the number or the dollar amount you need every single month coming in to be considered financially secure initially. Now you need to figure out how to get that money coming in, whether you have a job or not, and ensure that you have enough to sustain your lifestyle if situations were to change. So when you determine what the average amount that you are spending every month to live a decent life, that's your financial security number. So from there, you need to figure out how are you gonna make sure that you get this amount coming in, whether it's from a full-time job or another income stream, you need to figure out how to get this amount every single month to offset your basic needs. And when you're doing that and you're doing it consistently, you can consider yourself financially secure because that's the magic number. Now to determine what the number is for financial independence, you need to examine all your current finances and your lifestyle. You then need to figure out exactly what the dollar amount is that will cover your basic necessities. Then you need to figure out how much money you need to cover those nice to haves like the dining out and the vacation and so on. And you need to add those two numbers together. That's your financial independence number. 
Whenever you get to the state of financial independence, you are able to quit your nine to five job because you can not only sustain your lifestyle, but enjoy the other luxuries and niceties that you want without having to work because your other income streams are covering for it adequately. Now let's talk about the financial freedom number. Once you have your financial independence number, the next thing you do is to think about all the amazing things that you want out of this life. And this is where a bucket list comes into play. You need to list them out. You need to figure out what they're gonna cost because a lot of people actually overestimate this number, which is why they think financial freedom is so far-fetched. When you list it on a sheet of paper, and put a value beside it, it brings things into perspective and now financial freedom is now achievable or more achievable than it was before. Now by taking your financial independent number and adding this number, you have your financial freedom number. Your financial freedom number is the passive income that you need to generate every month in order to live not just your current lifestyle, but the ideal lifestyle. And this is where you can do all the amazing things that you have ever wanted to do. You can give back through charity and do so at the level that you have always wanted and you live the life that you have always dreamt about. Now, once you have established your financial security number, your financial independence number, and your financial free number or financially free number, you'll have very clear milestones and goals for you to achieve financial freedom. So now the next step is to execute accordingly. That's it, my YouTube family. I hope this video will enlighten you as it pertains to what financial freedom really is. And by the way, while a lot of this is my opinion, I did do some research to confirm that it's the general perception of financial independence, financial security, and financial freedom that's out there. So what I would say, my rock stars, is don't worry too much about how people define financial freedom for them. Focus on what it means for you and ensure that you're putting things in place to achieve true financial freedom. Until next time, walk good.